Welcome back to Brain Bites. Joining me as always, James Green. James, how are you? I'm well, Blake. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Today we are going to talk about something that people might not necessarily know is a thing, but they definitely have interacted with it at work if they're one of our clients. So today we're talking about OneDrive redirection. Yep. So a few months ago we did uh, an episode on OneDrive versus SharePoint. So this is definitely focusing on that OneDrive aspect of it. Correct. And this is talking about the redirection of your home libraries on your Windows computer. So that is your desktop, your documents, your pictures, um, and redirecting those to OneDrive. So James, give me a quick synopsis. What does OneDrive redirection mean from a technology standpoint? Well, the great thing about OneDrive redirection from a technology standpoint is it's super easy to implement. You install the agent, you set it up, and then from an end user standpoint, it removes thought from the process of backing up your files. Right. You're, you're already store. I mean, look at your desktop right now. There's probably files cascading across your desktop right now. Well, guess what? With OneDrive redirection, all those backed up in your personal OneDrive. Uh, or corporate OneDrive, depending on uh, if you're a corporate or business here. Right, and what we, you know, it's one of the the IT best practice used to be to don't put anything on your desktop because it's not, you know, if, if your computer dies, it dies with your computer. Right? Correct. Yep. And without OneDrive or, and without OneDrive redirection, that's still true. If you have, you know, company drives where, you know, like an H drive or something where you're supposed to store data, that is, that is you know, a server that is presumably backed up and it's enterprise hardware. So it, it's safe to put your data there. Your desktop on your computer is not very safe. But with OneDrive redirection, what it's doing is you're taking the desktop, that the physical desktop that you see on your monitor, and it's actually putting it in OneDrive on the cloud. So yep. now, and the, the cool thing about new OneDrive is it does uh, files on demand. So files that you use often are always on the device. You don't have to connect to the internet to use them. But then if you don't touch the file, no modifications whatsoever for 30 days, it sucks it back up into the right. cloud. You just basically have the icon there. And when you need it on demand, double click on it, boom, downloads. There you go. Right. And that saves space on your hard drive too. So yep. another reason that, you know, people used to say not to install or just to leave files on the desktop was if you put five gigs of files on the desktop, that's five gigs on your actual hard drive, on your storage of your computer. With OneDrive, if you don't touch 4.9 gigs of those files for 30 days, it just sucks it back up to the cloud. And the next time you need it, you click on it and it downloads that one singular file. Right. And and like like I said earlier, it, it removes thought from the backup process. How, how many times are we working on a file? I'll just save this to the desktop. I'll get back. Eh, I'll move it back. I'll move it to the file share right. where, where it will be backed up. It'll be fine. Well, and then your computer dies. And guess what? All those files that you didn't move are now gone with it. Again, with, with OneDrive redirection, those are backed up. Not just your desktop, we keep talking about desktop. Not just your desktop, your document library, your picture library. You can set other folders uh, to be backed up as well. I think I have my downloads folder right. uh, backed up. And what's cool about that is I think I said it, I shared it on this uh, podcast a few episodes back when we were talking about uh, Intune and Autopilot, is when, when my machine died and I had another machine delivered to me and autopiloted and connected it to my network, I signed in, Part of our deployment is OneDrive redirection yep. by default. I turned around and boom, my desktop was just as I left it uh, from my previous machine before it died. Exactly, and so you went from a brand new computer, even if it wasn't a, oh no, my computer died situation, if you're just getting a new computer, if your desktop documents, downloads, you know, pictures, any, any file uh, structure you need is OneDrive redirected, when you log into your computer, you just log into OneDrive and then do the redirection again and poof, they're all there. And because the files on demand, they all show up. Right. And th then when you start clicking on them, they download. And, you know, just as a the thing to point out with files on demand, if you're going, um, I don't know, on a honeymoon to a remote cabin somewhere in the woods, you can select files, right click them and make them available offline or keep them always on the device so that if you're going somewhere where you don't have internet, you can still have your files and still work without having to rely on an internet connection. Right, you don't want that situation where the file is there and then you leave uh, to, to go on vacation. You're like, okay, I'm gonna open up this file. Nope, that in that time period, that file has gone back up to the cloud. Right. Right click on it, say, I always want this. It'll always be there for you. And then the, the flip side of that tr is true too. If you 
have done that a lot. You know, you've down, you've said, keep things always on my device and you notice you're running out of space and you know, your OneDrive is taking up a lot of space on your computer. There's a right click free up space in yep. OneDrive and that will go through and anything that is on the device, it will suck it back up to the cloud. You can still see it. You can still click on it with files on demand and get it back. But by default, it puts it up in the cloud uh, only. Right. And then again, with OneDrive itself, if you have your files, specifically your office files, saved in one of those OneDrive redirection folders, as you're using Word, as you're using Excel, as you're using PowerPoint, it's being saved as you go. Right. You uh, don't have to worry about oh, Control S. Oh, I made a change. Control S. Yeah. Oh, I made new, a change. Control S. The new Office products have in Office 365 have auto save. So as yep. long as it's saved in OneDrive, any change you make is automatically saving and uploading to the cloud. That is saved me. I can't, I can't tell you the number oh. of times that saved me. It's incredible. Uh, and then just by the sheer nature of OneDrive itself, we've been talking about redirection, but because it's in OneDrive, oh, I need to make that one last tweak to that file. I'm in a taxi going to, to a presentation. Oh, well, let me just pull up my device. I can pull right. up the PowerPoint right here and make a change real quick. Boom. You it's don't have to, to be go. right. You don't have to be on a, you know, a computer necessarily that's connected to a network drive and all that. And one thing that I like too about OneDrive redirection, because you you are redirecting the documents folder, um, usually by default, a lot of programs store specific settings to your application, your installation of the application right. in the documents folder. Mm -hmm. So when you get a new computer and you have to reinstall that you know that software that runs your business, and you've made your tweaks to it to make it the way you want it to be. Sometimes, and this is again, this is a big sometimes, but sometimes those those uh, specific settings are stored in the documents folder. And right. so when you redirect those, it goes to look for those settings and it pulls the settings in. You don't have to redo all those tweaks. Right. And if you're and if you are backing up your downloads folder, uh, you know, you're you're going to set up your machine, you're going to install software. It goes to your downloads folder. Who cleans up their downloads folder? Yeah. All those installers mean, are there for you. You mean the historical what I've installed folder? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Well, we hope this episode was helpful for you, uh, either understanding what OneDrive Redirection is or helping uh, you to understand the, the term that you've heard some of our guys throw out or that we've mentioned in the past on the show. Um, so thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one.